We should be dropping books, not bombs. I strongly feel that it's a war without end, and basically it's, it's costing us way too much money, and we need to get out. Peace. In recorded history, no empire, ranging from Alexander the Great to Napoleon to the Soviet Union, has ever conquered Afghanistan, even with the fact that the Soviet Union put over 150,000 troops on the ground and asked for 600,000 more. So therefore, why must we continue to lose our young men and women to Afghanistan and continue to deplete our very minimum resources, not helping the poor people of this country? As we found in Iraq and proven in Iraq, there is no military solution. Uh, we should concentrate on uh, diplomacy and humanitarian needs in Afghanistan. But I do have a 16-year-old, and I have a 16-year-old I don't want to send to fight in Afghanistan to protect someone's opium and oil profits. And if I had my choice, peace starts at home, and that's what I told my two sons. I'm not sending my children to fight someone else's war. Actually, my one sentence is one word, sadness. U.S. military occupation in the Middle East is the greatest single cause of terrorism. Predator drones dropping bombs on innocent civilians will never win hearts and minds. My greatest concern is the war in Afghanistan, and I want us to get out immediately. My point is, okay, it was Iraq. Now it's Afghanistan, next it'll be Pakistan. When are we going to say we're done? The biggest concern is that we as a nation will continue a war economic system which will continually put us in jeopardy um, of maintaining a military industrial complex rather than having the people speak and create a real democracy. My biggest concern about the Afghan war is collateral damage. This war, this new war, or the continued war in Afghanistan is a, a disaster. It has not been paid for except by the blood of our brave soldiers, and it must end. I would definitely encourage my children to leave the country and become conscientious objectors. The war in Afghanistan. The bad news is we can't win that war. The other bad news is we can't lose that war. As long as we stay, they will never defeat us. And, uh, but they think in centuries while we think in years. Okay, I think what our boys are doing out in Afghanistan is really brave. And I think regardless of whether you support it or not, you should support the troops because they're the men that are saving and working hard for us. You don't need 100,000 people, the Americans, to go find less than a thousand uh, criminals in Afghanistan. I support our troops, but I don't support being in war. Doing, actually, is creating enemies. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, just like we did in Vietnam. Maybe we should drop bound and bound and tied Republicans. You know what I'm concerned?